Hello and welcome Aries. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. Welcome to Thomas's Tower reading. Please like, subscribe and share. Now what we will do here dear Aries is we will divide your reading into well, you got a hair in my mouth. You divide your readings into um, short sections so it is easier to understand. So what we will do here we will look at the overall energy for the month of June for the sign of Aries before we then move on to your emotional core. Um, see if there's love coming in or maybe there's some healing that has to happen, something along those lines. And then lastly we will look at opportunities and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially but that's not always the case. Um, Meet you means the guy in the middle. I only work here. Whatever the guides say, I will say. Mm. No to self. When you cuddle with your cat, don't kiss him. Anyway, <laughs> are you ready, Aries? Let's have a look what we got for you. This is the oval energy first for the month of June 2023 for the sign of Aries. Let's see what we got. Right, and apparently I'm getting the others as well for your core and for opportunities. Here we all go. So, Aries, by default you are the first sign, and the first sign means that you are also the sign that is a kick ass sign, but oftentimes has to go it alone. Now, here's what is important. In your energy for the month of June, you have the energy of arrival. So this month, in June, try not to be an introvert. Now, I know most Aries aren't introverts per se, but everybody has two sides to them. There's polarity in all of us. The point the guides are making is you do not have to go with the loan in June. You have the energy of arrival. Someone will show up. It's going to be either either a friend that you haven't heard of or maybe you you get a better sense of who you can trust if that makes sense so the point is you can reach out this month to people and you're not as alone as you think so should there be any difficult decisions that's basically the bottom line here should there be any difficult decisions that need to be made this month don't procrastinate don't think it's all on your shoulders there is and there are other people in your life in june that you can reach out to for advice. So please, please, please take that road and take that um, support that is out there for you, dear Aries. Right now, let's look at the um, emotional core, see what's happening here uh, with regards to love or if there's some um, healing that can happen. So what I'm getting is quite interesting here as an energy because the energy is not about what's happening but about what you manifest and how you're not letting things go. <clears throat> Can't pronounce the hate. Things. <laughs> in any case, what the guides are asking you, therefore, is in the month of June to reflect. Reflect on where are you. So what I'm not getting for you is that, that you need to do a lot of healing this month. That doesn't mean you, you, you shouldn't do it, right? Um, by all means, if there's a retreat near you, do it. It's always very, very powerful. But the energy here is about reflecting, not overthinking, reflecting about why is it I am in this, I'm still feeling that way. What is it that I could probably do differently to manifest differently? Um, by the same token, should you be in a relationship, the Aries, then maybe it's now the time to sort of see it's like, okay, how did I end up here? Is this actually good or bad? How, what am I really feeling? How do I really feel inside this relationship? So with regards to manifesting the love that you deserve, it's about looking whether or not you already got it um, and how you're truly feeling now that you have it. And if you haven't, ha if you haven't got it yet, right? how am I really feeling inside myself? That's the question every should ask yourself. Right? to then reflect on what can be made better, right? what's the healing that, that needs to happen to you so that you can engage properly in all things love. Right? So, that was that, Aries. And now we're looking at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June. Now, 
I'm using my astrology deck today for, for this reading. And what I'm getting is a lot of not so good aspects, right? So there's positive and negative, hard and soft aspects in astrology. And the aspects that I'm getting here is a square for, for the most part, which is one of those more difficult aspects in astrology. The point is, when it comes to opportunities, there's tension already. So it will be very difficult for you to manifest a new beginning when you're still pissed off with what you got. So the first thing here is, if you're thinking about making changes, by all means, make them. You have free will. But don't make them because the other job was so bad or, or there's still um, underlying frustration and tension inside you. If you go somewhere, go with all your heart, but let go what is what has caused you to actually think about making changes. So opportunities will not be super, super, uh, um, super many this month uh, in June for Aries. But what they're asking you is to complete what you're leaving before engaging in something new. You got the number 54, five and four is nine, nine is the number of completion. The point with this uh, energy here is that don't take frustration from an older job and this is work related guys this is really about work related even if you're self-employed the idea is right um, if you change venues or something or you have had a bad experience in the modality that you just did that doesn't mean you have to change the modality you just have to say to them like you know guys don't send me this this kind of shit anymore <laughs> right help me getting through it that makes sense so the point is the less frustration you feel inside yourself before or as you make a move towards something new, the higher the energy will be. All right, Aries, that's all we got this month. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please, please, please like, subscribe and share and leave a comment. That really helps the channel out a lot and it's nice to hear from you. In any case, that's all I got. I see you all next month. Bye bye.